He is a 9-11 survivor, the last person out of the World Trade Center North Tower. Well, on September 11th, William Rodriguez saved an estimated hundreds of people from the World Trade Center after putting his own life on the line. He then became trapped under the debris from the tower for hours before rescuers managed to free him from the rubble. And here with us now to share his really amazing story is William Rodriguez. William, is it William? Bill, which do you prefer? Maria, for you is Willie. Thanks, Willie. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for sharing your story with, with us. We really appreciate it. But why don't you tell me what happened uh, on that dark day? Well, basically, uh, we are doing a presentation. It's a story of hope, uh, expectation, motivation, and disposition of what the human spirit can do in a moment of uh, despair. I worked in the building for 20 years. I was the person in charge of all the stairwells of the North Tower. And on 9-11, I had the only master key that opened the doors that rescue people. This is the master key. They call wow. it the key of hope. And uh, uh, basically, I was a janitor, like I said, on that day, there was an explosion on the basement, and uh, this is prior to the building, got hit by the plane, and then the plane hit, and then there was a series of uh, explosions afterwards, and a person comes running into the office, uh, saying, explosion, explosion, explosion. His skin was pulled all from his armpits all the way to the top of the fingertips, and pieces missing off his face, and then it was total chaos. I started putting people out, out, outside the building, and went back inside three times, bas basically rescuing people from the basement. And then at the uh, third time, I just went with the master key, and I started opening the doors for the fire department so they could actually help people to escape from the stairwells. At the very last moment, there was a person on a wheelchair that needed to be uh, basically uh, given uh, first aid. As I broke him down, uh, the building started to collapse. Actually, the, uh, they got him to the lobby. When I put him on the lobby, I went to set up an ambulance and the building started to collapse. And I saw a fire truck and I slid right under the fire truck and the building basically buried me. And I survived under the rubble. Everybody else died. Oh my God. I don't even really know where to go after that. It's a very emotional event, uh, but after 9-11, I became an activist, a leader for the victims. I created the Hispanic Victims Group and right. the Victim Support Group, and basically uh, took, a, took, took it up to task to become basically addicted to helping because there's such an addiction. And uh, I started working on uh, basically every legislation and every program available to help right. the victims during that time. W Willie, have you met any of those people who, who you helped rescue, whose oh, yes. lives you saved? Yes, I actually met so many of the people. There were many encounters done for national television. The thing is that most of those encounters were done for the Latino news, uh, Univision Network, International, right. Telemundo ne Network, and National. And they were basically shown all over the world, but basically most of the stories, the big stories, were not actually presented to the uh, national media here in the United States. Well, but yes, I have met them. You just uh, presented your story so incredibly. You've been to the White House five times. You've been honored by the president, President Bush. You've met Hillary Clinton. Th that must have been quite an honor for you. It was an experience, uh, definitely. And at that time, I was basically uh, loaded to go into politics because they said this is the guy that we need to get the Latino vote. And I was playing the whole game of politics because because I was doing the activism and uh, until the moment that I started to ask questions about what really happened on 9-11 and you may remember the whole thing about the 9-11 Commission uh, right. to be formed and uh, basically became very active to get it uh, basically started and uh, what a surprise I uh, was right. one of the person that testified for the 9-11 Commission and my testimony doesn't appear on the final report. Willie I could talk to you until 11 o'clock tonight when we go off the air, but we are, uh, unfortunately have to wrap it up. So uh, will you be going into politics, or are you just here? I think people are no, maybe wondering. You're no. just here because you'd like to share your story. Uh, basically, what I'm doing is uh, telling the people what really happened on 9-11, because right. there's a lot of disinformation about what happened. Right. And number two, because we c wanted to call uh, people to do an outreach for the victims that are still suffering. The first responders, as you know, right. are still dying. We're talking Terrible. about 60,000 nope. people dying. You're absolutely right. If you're interested in hearing more of Willie's amazing story, he's actually going to be speaking tonight at the International Community Church in Alston at 7 o'clock. William, Willie, to us, thank you. Rodriguez, thanks so much for being here. And thank what you, an, Maria. What an honor it was to speak with you. What a pleasure for me to speak with you. Thanks, Willie. Willie, thank you so much. Up next at 530.